Hi, so this is the board on which we've built the circuit. You can see six LEDs, uh, we'll be using only five, and they shall display any message on a rotating virtual display. So as you can see, the components have been soldered underneath the board. You can see the LEDs, and uh, you can see a bit of double sided tape which I'll be using to stick onto a rotating table fan for the display. Right, ladies and gentlemen, this is the Arduino, the fully open hardware development board based on the Atmega 8 microcontroller. So right now it's connected to my computer through the USB port, and right now it's blinking, that LED you see blinking is blinking in accordance with this example program which comes with your IDE. It's running Ubuntu 9.10, and this is the IDE you can see. The program blinks an LED on and off with a delay. So, this is the board we've used for the project. And the Arduino right now is connected to this from the RXTX pins of the Atmega 8. Now I'm resetting it and uploading the code for the Persistence of Vision program. Those two lights you can see blinking are the receiving and transmission thingies. So it should start, there's five LEDs here, it should start blinking right now, sourcing power from the 9 volt battery. And once this is done, I can disconnect it. So this is the final setup. We've used an old table fan, an old and not exactly shockproof table fan. And this was mounted on top of it on the blades with uh, the good old double sided tape. Here you can see the circuit, the microcontroller, the battery, the uh, voltage regulator, IC and the capacitors. And everything is soldered underneath. We can see you can't see it right now, and you can see five LEDs. We've just used five LEDs for the whole virtual message display, and the speed is controlled from this diac based speed regulator, the ones which are available in domestic uses. Insulated, uh, I hope safely. And this is the whole setup. You can see these LEDs are right now blinking according to the program, but you can't see anything discernible because it's not rotating. So the final setup is like this. I've rigged the fan to my UPS just for a power source near the floor. And uh, once I'm turning this, I can get it to start. As you can see, it's rotating. You can't see anything right now. Right now it's pro. Okay, now you've s the letters have started appearing discernible. So if you can look carefully, it reads hi there. And at a constant speed, the letters should stop instead of scrolling like this. But the problem is the fan is an old fan and the air resistance of the thing we've mounted on top of it will keep varying the speed of the fan. So this should look better in low light conditions. So what I've done is I've uh, closed the curtains and shut the door and this should seem brighter. And it's, it, it doesn't flicker like this in real life. This is because of the low FPS of my DZ cam. And if you look carefully, you can see it almost as whole two words, almost at the same time. It says, hi there. Forgot to put an exclamation mark. <laughs> Maybe next time. And this is real-time programmable. I can just connect the Arduino anytime to this board from the RXDX pins. I can change the string constant in this, in the program I've done and then just upload it back and you can flash any word you want if you can look closely you can see those five LEDs so each letter is displayed on a virtual 5 by 3 matrix and this is a bird's eye view shall we say and the fun thing is when it stops when you have switched off the fan the letters keep going thinner and thinner and after a while things start going haywire and you can barely make out the words and then finally when the world comes to a standstill you can see those five LEDs blinking for all they're worth. <laughs>